What's up guys, the Bobcat here and welcome back to our let's play of Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes as the Kingdom of Altar, as our own custom character, the Bobcat. And last time we uh, did some quests, solved another riddle, which we actually did. I was very proud of that, even though it was quite a simple riddle. And um, we took the city from Yithril and we're probably going to, again, prioritise taking this city, this one and possibly this one. Just to give us plenty of room. So, how is this city looking? It's still got uh, 36. That's from the occupation. From 10 turns, that'll disappear. So, burn through a few turns. That is a big army over there. I have more armies at my disposal, I just cast Wither. Yes, attack our caravans. Okay. That's very dangerous looking. Those guys probably die very easily. Yeah, 72. They only have quite a lot, actually. This one, more worrisome. Build that. And where is it? This one here is probably the most worrisome. So we'll let them come a bit closer, then we'll cast Freeze on them. Ooh, what's this? Years after the Cataclysm, chaos, ru chaos ruled across the world. No one profited No one profited from the chaos, and more... Oh, the criminal organization, the criminal organization called the Syndicate was formed. Um, oh no, please do not do this. There's a bunch of enemies just going to suddenly appear. Uh, yep, Syndicate Rebels. Oh, it's not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's only a small army. Let's see these guys. Nothing to worry about. I'm worried about lots more of them suddenly appearing there. So you are going to go and destroy my mine, aren't you? In that case... Freeze! And then... Tremor! I'll keep them immobilized, and now we can head out and attack them. Yep, we should be fine. They have rubbish initiative now because of what we just did. So... Go there and rush to there. <laughs> 20 damage. Very respectable. Okay, the, they all go at the same time. Yeah. But we want to concentrate down these guardians and things. Let's look over there. And in fact, rush to there. I'd rather not have you in the way of the uh, guys with the doom hammers. So who do we want to concentrate on? Uh, 10 times 3, 10 times 3. I'll concentrate on the... Oh, oop, wrong one. I was going to say the Guardian. We'll concentrate on him so we can hopefully kill him. That's that one. Uh, you guys, as soon as the mouse starts working again. To there. Rush to there. So how much will you do? 9 to 8 teams times 4 if we used Crushing Blur. Do it. Yes! 131. That's the dangerous ones dealt with. Our units should be fine. They're pretty durable. They've gone berserk. Impale. Okay, then, so you go there and attack him. You can attack this one. This one. Uh, cut these guys down. You guys go there and whack these ones. Got a bash off there as well. I'll turn again because of their because of the freezing things we cast on them. 
his logos there. You can't use impale, but stab these guys. Um, mages again, or nomads. These guys. Yeah, now we're just picking them off. They've got nothing substantial left. Actually, do you think we can... Should we see if we can kill them all? Yes. Finish them off. Inslow leveled up as well. So Inslow's level up. Um, he's got the Dragon Slayer. I suppose getting in chain mail proficiency and then plate mail because we do have that really nice plate mail which we can't use. So we'll get the plate mail proficiency. I don't think I'll be able to equip that ever. So let's go to trade and shop. Trade uh, that to Insler. Trade and equip. Very nice. How's his weapon? Yeah. Do we have anything better we can give him? Not really, but I think we can buy him a nice weapon. Yeah, we've got tons of really nice weapons. We've got the Boral Blade, the, the Athiken Longsword. We'll get him the Boral Blade, well, as soon as we can afford it. It's a tad expensive. So these guys are frozen and have Tremor on them. So we'll just have to work our way through them. Can we attack them again? We can. Should we? No, we won't. Our unit suffered some damage, so we'll heal up a bit first. Now we will. So let's see. Most dangerous ones. I'm seeing pretty weak. The Manix are probably the dangerous. Yeah, Manix are the most dangerous. Followed by the Axemen and oh, the Spear Maidens. And then the Axemen. So you go there. I think I mentioned this in the uh, very first part of this series, but they have a special ability where they can dual wield all axes. Which is why, when you look at these Manics, they are carrying two sets of execution axes. Which is rather cool, actually. So you go there, impale. You can go there. Can we rush you forward one more? We can. That's the Manics dealt with. You guys can go to there. Take out these guys. Again, we should be fine. We've got really good armor. Yeah, we've got really good armor. Really, lots of HP. We're quite high level, so we should be fine. One more squad down. Uh, take out this one. I love these mages when you get them so powerful that they just destroy entire units in hit one hit. So much fun. So who goes next? The Manics? Uh, beat those Manics around the head. Again, the Doom Hammers are amazing. I thought he was dead. Or on the floor. Guess not. Well, that's them dealt with. And now we only have one more army to deal with. What? Okay, apparently when we engaged them in battle, they moved their army. And they moved it and destroyed our iron mine. How annoying. I think we'll wait another turn. Heal up a bit. Those guys are still frozen. We could we have room for one more unit. Let's just make sure there's nothing strange going on. Probably should deal with them. Don't we have any troops around here? 
Yes, we do. So you guys, come out and go deal with this uh, syndicate army. Don't know how long it'll take them to get there. So we'll start dealing with this army here. So the, again, we I think we want to prioritise the juggernaut. <laughs> Oh god, these guys are actually really tough. 24, 20? 20, 27 down there. Yeah, these guys are a lot higher level. Head there. We'll see if we can doom hammer him and get rid of him that way. Wait, why is it? They're all their attack values have changed now. They were all at 20, now they're all at 17 and things. That's a bit strange. Let's hit him with them just to make sure he actually dies. Go there. Rush to there. Use impale. Just thin out some more of the numbers. Yes, yeah, he's gone back up. Strange. Well, you go there and beat him. You guys go there, and which ones? Well, these uh, scorned, as I think, is what we want to prioritise. Again, their attack value's changed. We might lose a unit. Ooh, it's going to be close. Oh, we lost a unit. That's a shame. It's going to be very costly to rebuild him. Oh well. We've got plenty of money, plenty of crystal, plenty of metal, plenty of wargs. Shouldn't take us too long. So if I did a lightning strike there, kill off a few more. You guys go there. That was a wrong place. I should have attacked them. You guys use cleave. Okay, we should be able to finish them off there with our nomads. That squad's not quite dead. Oh, he dodged. Very nice. Stab. Stab. There we go. And that's their entire big three armies dealt with. We lost a squad of, nine, of level 9 guardians, which is a big shame. However, retraining them isn't going to be very costly. Let's see. Guardians, where were they? We've got the King's Ward. Actually, let's go to design again. Hide the archers, hide the crossbow people. Um, I think we'll hide the red watch. Yeah, we have chosen and things now. The royal guard, what are they using? Horses. Hide. Retire them. Retire them. Retire them. Retire them. I think we can edit these guys and give them better things. We'll hide the spearmen. Hide the explorer. Yeah, we want. I think we want paladins. Is what we want now. Yeah, so we'll go to edit because with these guys we can give them these boral blades, which are really good. Also, good thing about swords is they give you plus two initiative or plus one depending on which one you're using, which means they cancel out the effects of very heavy armor to a certain degree. Later on, we'll get a very special type of uh, armor. <laughs> Excuse me, from the uh, mage path, which will be very, very nice. Okay, so we can get plus two initiative and plus one moves. We'll give them the white wargs. We'll give them the amulet of haste, belt of speed, and I think that's it. These guys are going to be a bit costly. Oh, they do need a helmet as well, so we'll give them the plate helm. Give them one more thing, we'll give them fast, 
make them these guys are going to be very very tanky I suppose very quick lots of damage save what they're going to be called King's Ward that's fine yeah that's fine and then we'll build some okay, King's Ward look at that 144 crystal 168 metal and 400 gold so very expensive but they'll be worth it Uh, yes, I've just built the treasure vault. We've got that. We can sort of leave that path alone now for a bit. What we want is arcane armor. But we'll continue working on the Book of Magi. Because we've only got two turns left on that. There is their main army, apparently. And somewhere is in the building. You build the clerics, the apothecaries, the guardian statues. Afford it, and then we'll cast. We can't cast it just yet, so we'll head back into the city, and we'll cast freezing tremor on them. We've been asked to eliminate you. By who? What? Oh, Tarf, you silly, silly person. Actually, speaking of syndicates, hmm. where's our other army? There it is. You'll catch up next turn. Well, it looks like I might end up going for a conquest victory after all. Again, I'd much rather not, but the game isn't exactly making it easy. Okay, what do we want now? Again, I really want to get this arcane armor, but we'll get the Book of Mastery. Perhaps we'll be able to do the uh, mage one in as well before. Let's see if we can get the mage one going instead. Uh, tremor, yep. Freeze. The tremor um, removes their ability to dodge as easily. That's why I cast tremor. Really good if you have catapults. So we have more than them in general, so should be fine. Let's see. Again, the juggernauts and things is what we want to prioritize. I think we can ignore the wargs and things. Uh, you can go there and attack him. Attack him. Throwing knife. Ow. Did one damage. How scary of him. These guys actually are surprisingly quick. I'd like to again. Our units are quite tanky. So you guys attack him. You guys finish off him. Again, those guys, super dangerous. Okay, deal with them. Attack them. And we need to get this battle over with quickly because we don't have long left. You guys attack him. Uh, attack them. Just weaken them all. That's that unit finished off at last. We can't use Impale, but we don't need to. Cast Cleave. His turn now. Uh, you guys beat him on the head. That's 
their main general finished off. <coughs> and now we'll just finish them off with our mages. We could rush to the end, but I'm worried this game will do something really silly. Or something will go really, really wrong all of a sudden. So I'm not going to. Done. And we're going to have to end this part here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. There will be more coming, obviously, of this game and of other games very, very, very soon. So I'll see you guys next time.